Okay, hi there and welcome in this third video in our series of short videos looking at aspects of financial economics as part of the Head Start course. Uh, we're going to be exploring the bond market. When a business needs to raise new money, extra finance, they have essentially two main options, particularly if they're well-established businesses. One is to either go to their private or public investors and raise equity finance through the issue of new share capital, uh, issue of new stock which carries voting rights. An alternative is to go to the debt markets, to go to the bond market in particular and issue a bond, which is essentially a loan uh, which requires paying interest to the bond holder. Sometimes loans require also some form of security at the time of issue. Now the bond market includes lots of different agents looking to raise money, companies, governments go to the bond market to fund the gap between what they spend and how much they take in in tax. And also non-profits, such as some schools and universities that can raise money by issuing bonds. Essentially, that's borrowing money at interest from investors. Here's a really good example from back in 2017. Oxford University uh, went to the bond market and uh, they had uh, they raised a lot of money, £750 million, with a 100-year-old bond. Wow. And they only paid 2.5% interest, suggesting that uh, this was a, a good bet for investors, a safe, secure loan. And just recently I found an article from the FT in January 20, 2020 saying they were planning to go back to the bond markets uh, with interest rates falling on debt, Oxford may be um, perhaps going and borrowing some more money. The FT couldn't even be bothered to change the photo of the university. So uh, we're going to be taking a look at the bond market. In particular, there are two main types of bond to focus on. The first is corporate bonds issued by businesses, corporations. And the second is the bonds that are issued by sovereign governments when they have to cover any shortfall between their spending and their tax revenue. A corporate bond is typically a lower to medium risk loan made to companies. The bond pays interest and the bond's credit rating, essentially the risk of default, is assessed by organisations known as credit ratings agencies. A good example would be Standard & Poor's or Moody's. If we think about the growth of a company uh, and the available source and scale of finance or funding, uh, corporate bonds are not, not for the early years of a company. Typically, when a company is growing at inception, the early growth rates, they typically use bank loans, overdrafts, credit cards, perhaps things like business angels and crowdfunding. Now, we're not going to cover those in our short course, but uh, there's a lot of videos on the Choose Do YouTube channel that look at those different types of business finance. If you look top right of this diagram, you'll see that corporate bonds typically are the favoured uh, way of raising debt finance for well-established growth mature companies. A government bond is a bond, a loan, issued by a government, again, to finance their spending on health, education, defence and welfare. The debt is called a bond and the debt is then traded in the market after it's been issued. So we'll look at an example of this, but if the government issues a bond, once it's issued, it has a price. And if you need to buy and sell the bond, there is a secondary market where you can go into the market and, uh, and buy and sell, although the price can rise and fall. So a quick look at the bond market. A bond is a loan. Hopefully that's uh, familiar now to you. Uh, the bond is repaid when, the loan is repaid when the bond matures. So maturity is the date when the bond uh, comes up for repayment. And each year, whoever is holding the bond gets interest. The market trades the bond after issue. Let's take an example of a, of a truly global business that might need to raise money. Let's consider Chittachew issuing a £1,000 bond. And they'll probably issue, let's say, 100 of them to raise £100,000. So we go to the market, we offer £80 interest to investors. And this bond is repaid in 2025. In other words, it's a five-year bond. At the time this video is being recorded, 2025 is the date of maturity. Now, the yield on the bond 
is £80 interest divided by the market value of the bond. So if I'm paying £80 interest to a bondholder and the bond is worth £1,000, well, 80 over 1000 uh, is an 8% yield, effectively the interest rate on the bond. The interest, by the way, is paid annually on a set date to the bondholder. Now, the interest is fixed. So when I'm issuing this bond, I'm offering £80 per year to whoever holds or owns the bond, let's say on the 1st of June each year. So the interest is fixed, but the yield isn't. The bonds are traded in the market. Once I've issued this bond, the bond's price can go up and down depending on the strength of supply and demand. So, for example, if the bond was to go to £2,000 price because of strong demand, I'm still only paying £80 interest. Can you see what happens to the yield if I'm still paying only £80 interest on a £2,000 bond? What happens to the yield? Well, the yield comes down to 4%. On the bond. The date of maturity is really quite important. So one year bond is repaid after 12 months. A two year bond repaid after 24 months. A 10 year bond if we issue it this year it's repaid in 2030. A 20 year bond is issued this year it's repaid in 2040 and so on. Once we get beyond 10 years and 20 years we call those long dated bonds because the date of maturity is a long way off in the future. There's even something called a, an undated bond, otherwise known as a perpetual bond. Uh, that bond is never repaid. It just pays the annual interest in perpetuity. Whoever holds the bond gets the interest. Something close to it might be a war bond. So in 2014, the UK government paid off some of the war bonds they'd issued 100 years prior to that at the start of the First World War. There we go. There's an introduction to the bond market. We'll take it a little bit further in our next video.